The Red Lake girls basketball team made it to the state tournament for the first time in school history two years ago. After a hiatus last year, the Warriors are back in the big dance and ready to make Red Lake proud. Having already lost to them this season, Red Lake was definitely the underdogs in the section championship game against 12th ranked Stephen Argyle, but the Warriors came together and played arguably their best game of the season. I knew that we could beat them since the beginning of the season because all of these girls had the talent to beat them and no team is unbeatable. It's really nice knowing that I've been played with these girls since elementary and we finally made it this far as a group. They avenged last year's loss in the championship game, playing swarming defense and forcing turnovers all game long. Just pressuring the ball and just trying to get up and scare them a little bit. You know, they came together as a crew and, you know, they, they wanted it more than Stephen Argyle wanted it. They'll need another great performance Thursday as the team has drawn top-seeded Miniota in the first round, but their coach is confident that they can rise to the occasion. If they put uh, two good halves of basketball together and uh, play both ends of the floor, they can accomplish anything. In addition to playing for themselves, the Warriors will be playing for the community of Red Lake, who has supported them every step of the way. Well, we take our sports very seriously around here, and, you know, some sometimes I think that's... Uh, that's the only thing some people have to look forward to. You know, we inspire a lot of people. The fans help us push more, and we everything we do is for them. Once everybody knows a res is going to stay, everybody's going to follow. And you can expect a big crowd Thursday at U of M for their first round matchup that tips off at 11 in the morning. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.